Hello world and welcome back to another video. Today I will um, talk, about, talk about my new serial IO board. It's comprised out of a 68B50 asynchronous serial chip uh, which plugs into that board and also behind that board I have a clock to drive this module. Uh, the serial communication happens at uh, 7200 baud and uh, through the classic FTDI 6 pin cable. Let me plug in the module. Um, over here, plug it in. Be careful with alignment. Plug it in all the way, okay. Let's put it back there. Turn on the computer. Reset it. Okay. Um, let me plug in the serial cable. Okay, the serial cable is plugged in. Reset on more the computer. And now let me type a simple program to initialize the um, shell chip and send some characters over to the terminal so let me type the program real quick over here Control X to board and dump eight one zero zero. Okay, let me walk you through the program. Three D three uh, three zero three D three E zero sends the command to the Asia to initialize um, to reset it. Uh, three fifteen D three E zero sends the command to divide by six in the clock, so we get the seven thousand two hundred baud out of a 115 kilohertz 115.2 kilohertz clock um next 348d3e1 uh that's loads the accumulator with uh, the hex number 48 which means uh, the ascii character h and sends it over to the data port of the asia uh c30881 jumps back to this uh, specific address um, 8108 and repeats the loop sends the character over and over and over again to the serial so let me zoom out let me press ctrl x and then jump and if I wrote it correctly yep you will notice that the red lead on the serial board is lit up that means uh, the serial board is transmitting and if we look over at the serial terminal we see a bunch of H's um, let me stop it how to stop it just I will reset the computer so you can see a bunch of H's um, Okay, let me make the terminal full screen. Will it so better? Let me see. Jump again. Yeah, it's basically writing a whole lot of H's. So, now that I have a serial connection made and successfully working, I want to implement a, a tiny basic. Um, I don't, I'm not remember um, the name of the guy that uh, ported it to be easy, but I will include it down in the description. So let me reset the computer. Let me take the serial cable, cable out. Let me take the power out of the computer. And let me take the ROM out of the computer and burn the new image so it can 
um, load tiny basic. Let me close the terminal. Load up the burning program. Um, com file load image. Um, we are going over here, uh, over here, and it is in this file. So write the prompt. I'm right now burning it to the EEPROM that uh, with the EEPROM burner that I have. Here it is. My Arduino EEPROM programmer. Place you back here. It's done programming. So let me take out, may, let me take out the EEPROM, plug it back into the computer. Um, place the computer back there, remove the audio chip because the code is not yet uh, made to initialize it, but okay. Um, turn on the power to the chip, um, put the serial cable, no, um, firstly open the terminal, which is here, reset the terminal. Make it a smaller window like there. No, it won't show up, but let me connect the serial key back to the computer. It's connected. When I press reset to the computer. We have ZH Tiny Basic 2.5G Patch 2 ported by Joe Gabbard 2017. It's a very nice port of um, Tiny Basic, and uh, actually, it's just a concept to see if I could run Tiny Basic on this computer, and I actually can. So, let me type a test program. Um, I need to use my keyboard now, so I have to take the computer. Here. Um, reset. Take the keyboard from the real computer. Um, and somehow place the computer back over there. Let me take the keyboard out of this computer because not needed. So place back the computer so we can see anything that happens. And there we are. Let's the computer and we have it running. So let's try a simple program. Um uh, the classic program that everyone runs is uh, the hello world program. So, turn print hello world twenty go to turn list. Turn print hello world twenty go to turn um, run. We see the program running at screaming speeds of um, a hundred and fifteen kilohertz, hundred and fifteen point two kilohertz screaming speeds. So let me press Control C. Let me CLS clear the screen. Um, what else we can do? Um, we can uh, flash the LEDs over there to the output port to the LED display by typing 10 um, for A equals 1 to 255 20 um, print a 30 next A uh, run 
We can put it there onto the display, the serial terminal, but also control C. If we edit um, uh, line line twenty and type out a comma zero zero and press run. Um, no. Um, uh, how the command works? I don't remember the command. So CLS help. Um, help uh, out. Ah, okay. It's first the uh, port and then the uh, the value. So um, um, twenty out zero zero comma a. So if we run now, we can see. Down there, it's gone up in binary. So that means that we can communicate uh, the software with the hardware, and that's a very good um, implementation of BASIC. So we can run a uh, software and connect it to the real world hardware and have this thing happening. So if I press Control C. And I press now print um, print A will show me 226 which if I um, control it the decimal over to binary 226 it's uh, 01 uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. yes it's exactly what we are seeing so um, that was all, it's uh, a very nice uh, basic implementation, I will definitely have the links down below in the description. Um, the 68B50 gave me a lot of opportunities to run basic programs to my home built ZD computer and uh, now that the um, 68B50 serial communication chip is made that means that we can transfer easily code from the terminal onto RAM without burning EEPROMs. So, um, more, more e an easier way to run and test programs, and also an easier way to um, implement a new code to the board. Uh, so, this was the video. I will have. Uh, more information about the um, the breakout board uh, behind from this board with the clock circuit and all this stuff. I have uh, more information about the 68B50 serial uh, board onto my website. Uh, my website is linked down below to the description. Also, leave a comment if you are interested in, uh, in anything of these sort of things. Uh, and this was all. Thank you for watching. Sub subscribe if you liked. And press the like button and don't forget to come back to uh, check the next video for now and on goodbye from me